the Imperial Palace, formerly the Flamingo Capri, then the Imperial Palace, then the Quad, and now the Link is a casino hotel on the Las Vegas Strip in Paradise, Nevada. It is owned and operated by Caesars Entertainment today. It opened as the Flamingo Capri in 1959 on property located directly north of the original Flamingo Resort. The Flamingo Capri was a 180 room motel owned by George E. Goldberg and Flamingo employee, Bill Capri. Ralph Engelstad purchased the Flamingo Capri Motel in 1971 and added a casino the following year. He built additional motel buildings in 1974 and added a 19-story Imperial Palace Tower in 1977. Engelstad renamed the entire property as the Imperial Palace on November 1st, 1979, when a new casino facility opened on the site. The Flamingo Capri's casino was demolished to make way for the Imperial Palace's entrance, although some of the motel rooms would remain in operation for decades. The Imperial Palace was the only Asian-themed resort on the Strip. It was popular amongst middle-class and value-conscious guests. Long-running attractions included the Auto Collections, a car museum that operated from 1981 to 2017, and Legends in Concert, a show that ran from 1983 to 2009. Engelstad added additional hotel towers from 1982 to 1987, increasing the room count to 2,637. It was among the largest hotels in the world. When Engelstad died in 2002, the Imperial Palace was the second largest privately owned hotel in the world behind the Venetian Resort in Las Vegas. Following his death, operations were taken over by a group that included his wife, Betty. Harris Entertainment, later known as Caesars Entertainment, purchased the Imperial Palace in 2005 for $370 million. The company considered partial or complete demolition of the resort before deciding on a renovation instead. On December 21st, 2012, Caesars renamed the resort The Quad. The Asian theme was removed and the property received a redesign to become known as The Link Promenade. So ended the illustrious Imperial Palace hotel and casino. Now, why am I talking about a hotel and casino? Well, DCP released another Fallen Flag Series truck that was based on a truck the Imperial Palace Hotel and Casino had back in the day. Talk about cool. For the complete DCP by First Gear's Fallen Flag Series, grab my checklist with the link below. Also, I do have a few of these left with another link below to my website, dcptrucks.com, and it will be there until they sell out. Now, let's head on over to the rock quarry and see DCP's rendition of the Imperial Palace truck. And here we go, guys. This is the Kenworth K100 Aerodyne Sleeper pulling the Kentucky Moving Van Trailer, a 53-foot trailer, for the Imperial Palace Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. It comes in the DCP by First Gear standard box with the two-piece blister, and it is a die-cast model in 164 scale in part of the Fallen Flag series. A rather unusual one for the Fallen Flag series, too. You can see its item number is 60-1226. And there it is, out of the box. The K100 there pulling that Kentucky moving van. 
It is a really striking paint job and the cab features something really unique. The trailer has the three stripes. It has brown, light orange, and dark orange on it for the striping. Really, really different. It says visit the Imperial Palace Hotel and Casino, Las Vegas, Nevada on the side with the Imperial Palace logo. Kind of a shame that there's no Asian theme left, but now that you know it's an Asian themed casino, why it makes sense this logos. It really does make sense. You can see it has the doors that are molded in. They don't open, but they're molded in on the side of the trailer. Then it has the belly boxes, which are also molded in, but none of the things open. Rides on 10 hole chromes with soft rubber tires. The top is two-tone. They carried the brown stripe up over the roof. Isn't that cool? Underneath, screw-down type landing gear. You can see the belly boxes. There's also some racks here for type luggage. Brake canisters on the axles and nice suspension with soft rubber tires. Kingpin for DCP or vintage die-cast type trucks. Over on the curb side, same graphics as the other, and it's got the doors all molded in all along. They did a good job on this trailer. It's got the Kentucky Moving Van logo there and a trailer number. Also, you can see on each of the door handles, they are tampoed in. Really, really good. White mud flaps. And then let's go, let's look at the front. Look how the stripes come around on that trailer. They come around and then they go back out. Very, very Asian in theme the way the stripes are. Plus, there's your hookups. Around on the back, you have the Imperial Palace Hotel Casino, Las Vegas, Nevada, and Imperial Palace right there. On the really tall doors, because these are a drop deck trailer, and it rides on really small rear wheels. The doors do open to reveal a wood floor which is actually a nice tampo or actually it's a nice painted floor there and it makes it look like a real wood grain instead of the others and then the walls you can see it has lots and lots of uh, tracks for load locks and things to go down the side and tie downs you can see it has brake lights on this piece and you can also see it has this little piece of plastic well there's a reason for that it helps you pull this piece out which is as you can see it is another deck where you could pack up some more boxes and just strap them to the back of the trailer moving vans will do that quite often they might even put bicycles and some other kind of stuff there the the family's grill that's what they would put on there otherwise it would be pushed in now let's go on and look at the tractor i've talked about k100s before but they are still a neat looking coe it's got the chrome steps, chrome fuel tanks, chrome wheels with tin hole, and soft rubber tires. Chrome stacks, it has the twin stack option and a single air breather option on this Aerodyne. Imperial Palace logo on the sleeper, and then it says Imperial Palace Hotel and Casino, Las Vegas, Nevada, there on the door. It has door handle tampoed, chrome mirror, chrome grab bar up there as that made it easier to get in and out of this truck. Then back here, it has private carrier, not for hire, tampoed on. I'm guessing the main use for this truck was an, as an exhibit truck or to move uh, shows from one place to another, from the warehouse to the main floor. It was not a common carrier or a truck carrier. Now we'll go over here to the passenger side. It has the Imperial Palace. You get the stripes following the Aerodyne uh, body lines. Then you have more stripes here, the same logoing and everything else. Inside the cab, dashboard, seats, steering wheel, all painted black. Then you have right here and on the driver's side, it has the turn signal. Kenworth logo right there. And air tank battery boxes there with a little bitty mud flap. A little bit different on this side than on the other side. On the back, white mud flaps with Imperial Palace logos on them. Brake lights and backup lights are tampoed in red. Fifth wheel here. You can see it has a chrome deck plate, chrome quarter fenders, and then the twin stacks with the curves out at the top. Single air intake painted black. 
with the chrome on top. See the bracing and a pogo stick here with a little bitty ring on it. Good job, DCP. Plus, Kenworth had this little grill area behind it. Up top, it has the little piece that Kenworth had on the roof. Then you see the roof lights right there and air horns. The windows are actual windows, but you don't really see anything through them. But they are windows. Cab tilts. It locks in place, which is a really nice thing. And under it, you can see a brown engine. So that would be a Cummins six-cylinder diesel. And you can see all the piping for the turbo and the exhaust all right there. Really sharp. Now I'll close this up and show you the most unique feature of all. Right here on the front. Look at that. The first DCP truck or first gear truck to have a logo tampoed on the grill. Imperial Palace. Above it is the Kenworth logo, and it's amazing that uh, Kenworth would actually agree to that and let that go. So this is a unique truck because of that logo right there on the grill from factory. Chrome bumper, tapered ends, and then little driving lights there. And then you have your individual jewel style headlights with the little chrome bezels. See the turn signals and the mirrors. Isn't that really sharp? Now let's hook him all up. And there we go. That is the Kenworth K100 Aerodyne Sleeper with 53-foot Kentucky moving van trailer for Imperial Palace Hotel and Casino, Las Vegas, Nevada. It is a 164 scale die-cast semi-truck, and it's part of DCP by First Gear's Fallen Flag series. As a footnote about the location today, the Link Promenade an outdoor collection of bars, restaurants, and retailers was opened by Caesars in 2013. It was built along the quad's southern edge. A signature feature of the promenade is the high roller Ferris wheel, the second tallest in the world, only behind the on Dubai Ferris wheel. The quad was renamed as the Link on October 30th, 2014, to match the new promenade. The name change was accompanied by a $223 million renovation, which modernized the resort in an effort to attract a new demographic of millennials. The link included a 33,890 square foot casino and 2,250 rooms. If you ever go to Vegas, which I don't recommend, give the link a try to remember the heritage of the Imperial Palace. Also, I still have a few of these Kenworth K100s with Kentucky moving vans for the Imperial Palace Hotel and Casino available on my website, dcptrucks.com. There is a link to them while they last. Once they are gone, the link will disappear forever. However, I still have something else for you. It's the updated version of the DCP by First Gears Fallen Flag Series Checklist. That checklist includes the entire Fallen Flag Series and that have been released and announced to date. Grab it with the link down below and check back for future updates. Thank you for watching. I'm Logan and I'll be back next week with another video.